Well, a new death being blamed on California's destructive wildfires as smoke blankets parts of Los Angeles this morning. The fires forced thousands from their homes. ABC's Marcy Gonzalez joins us from L.A. Good morning, Marcy. Eva, good morning. Firefighters are still out here keeping a close eye on these destroyed homes. You can see the walls of this one are barely standing, yet incredibly, the vehicle in the driveway is still intact. We're told these flames moved in so quickly, the couple next door says they had just minutes to grab their two kids and a few belongings and get out. Newly released video shows the ferocity of one of the fires that ravaged Southern California. In Los Angeles County, nearly 8,000 acres burned this morning. Firefighters still putting out hot spots, trying to avoid a flare up and the kind of nightmare Monica and Drew Silver walked out of their house to find Thursday night. Wind whipping, burning embers, flames closing in on them from three sides. We looked at each other and we just knew we weren't going to come home to a house. All the embers were flying horizontally across the walkway and the driveway. And the kids went, oh, well, we're not going out there. I said, well, if we don't, we die. They returned this weekend with an insurance adjuster confirming their fears. It was hard, I mean, to hear somebody say it's a total loss, like no question about it. Theirs is one of dozens of homes destroyed this week as several fires burned out of control. In Riverside County, police confirming a second person was killed in this mobile home community that was quickly overcome by flames. And this morning in Los Angeles County, mandatory evacuation orders are lifted. Residents now returning home. We're very lucky. We're very very, very fortunate. While the Silvers assess their losses, their wedding rings gone, everything from their photography business destroyed. Lost our home and so, our work. And yet they say they're grateful. The things don't matter. It's being together and, and being here and, and living through it. And it's, we have our lives, we have our health, and that's all that matters. And their neighbors are thankful, too, because other than these two homes, firefighters were able to save every other house in this community with. And that is some positive news. And yep. it was a very difficult situation there. Marcy Gonzalez for us. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.